Hello, and welcome to another T-Studio demo. Today I want to talk to you about the cone of vision in linear perspective. To map everything out, I'm using a few simple materials, including paper, red and graphite pencils, eraser, ruler T-square, compass, and a set of drafting triangles. Perspective is basically a system of distortion. Its goal to faithfully represent in two dimensions what our eyes behold in front of us, which happens to be in three dimensions. It provides the viewer with the same impression of relative size, position, or distance that would be created by viewing the objects from a particular vantage point, which we call the station point. This station point is where the eye is situated in space floating above the ground plane. Now, linear perspective has its limits. It only really works within the parameters of an imaginary cone, this cone emanating from our station point or our eye. Items drawn within this cone will look natural, and items drawn outside the cone of vision will look distorted or stretched in odd ways. And I will demonstrate this by locating a cone of vision, then following the simple procedure of drawing a perfect cube in and out of our cone of vision. Now, the cone of vision is a 60 degree angle starting at the station point, 30 degrees on the left and 30 degrees on the right. And I just use my 30 degree angle on my drafting triangle to find these lines. And I stretch these lines all the way from the station point to the horizon line. And I repeat it on both sides. And that angle you see at the bottom is then 60 degrees. Next, I take my compass and I'm going to set it to draw a circle with its center on our center of vision. Remember, the CV is the point opposite our eye on the horizon line. The radius of our circle will be from this center point to the intersection of our angles from the station point. And then I will lightly draw a circle on my paper. So all objects drawn within this circle will look right. And items drawn outside of that circle are going to look a little strange. So I'm just going to label it here Cone of Vision. Now, let's draw a cube, a perfect cube, inside our Cone of Vision, and then we'll draw one outside and see what the difference is. I will use the same steps same vanishing points, etc., to create these two cubes. As I finish it up, you will notice how it looks correct or natural to our visual understanding of a cube. The spacing and the proportions all look right. Now I'm going to draw a cube outside of our cone of vision here on the right, following the exact same steps, using the same vanishing points and so on. Let's see what happens.
Now, as I finish up this cube, you will see that it doesn't really look like a cube. It appears too narrow in its depth, and the front, bottom, right corner seems stretched out of proportion. No matter which volumetric forms you draw, if they reside within the cone of vision, they're going to look right. Outside, there's going to be distortion, and they will not look lateral. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and thanks for watching.